area. Well, Zia Meral is a Turkish analyst and a researcher for the po Foreign Policy Centre. He joins me now from central London. Thanks very much indeed. Now, Turkey has always been very proactive through this crisis, but uh, really, what can it do? What is Mr. Erdogan suggesting here? Um, what Mr. Erdogan is suggesting firmly is that we can no more simply watch what's happening in Syria. Both Turkey and the international community are quite resolved that the humanitarian aspect of the crisis has reached an unbearable level. However, um, and the idea of a humanitarian corridor is easier said than done. But what is going to happen over the next week is that we have um, the UN um, under General Secretary for the Humanitarian Affairs, Valeri Amos, is expected to be in Syria on Wednesday. Um, and the special envoy Kofi Annan will be on Sunday. Um, there is a strong push for the allowing of humanitarian groups to bring aid into Syria. Yeah, because uh, Mr. Erdogan has been very critical of, of the international community. Uh, he said, I mean, particularly the United Nations, just watching what was going on inside Syria. I mean, is, he, is his thinking that now uh, a resolution based just on a humanitarian uh, corridor, an aid effort, might be acceptable to get through the Security Council in Russia and China? Um, both Russia and China seem quite resolved in their stand, although they do pay lip service that the humanitarian aspect of the crisis can be and should be addressed, but they do raise caution in, on, in regards to the idea of a humanitarian corridor. Um, what will likely to be happen is that we will see a larger mandate to bring in aid into Syria, um, but a general UN Security Council resolution that will mandate um, the entry of foreign troops or even UN peacekeeping troops to enter into Syria looks um, distant and unlikely at the moment. How worried is Turkey by the, the prospect, the possibility of thousands more Syrians fleeing into Turkey? Um, it is a genuine concern. If you look at the numbers, um, last week we had around 7,000 um, Syrians fleeing into Lebanon. And thus far, around 20,000 Syrians had fled into Turkey, and although some of them have returned, um, Turkey having a large border with Syria, um, the aspect of refugees fleeing into Turkey is a, um, is a legitimate um, logistic um, concern. However, with removing of the mines between the borders of Turkey and Syria, with the efficient running of the camps by the Turkish authorities, um, Turkey is trying to give a clear signal, and as Foreign Minister Ahmet Davutoglu said, Turkey is ready to host any Syrian who is ready to flee to, Tur um, to Turkey. Zia Meral, thank you very much for uh, joining us here uh, on The Hub.